Let's learn some multi-line editing inside of VS Code. So multi-line editing just allows you to edit multiple lines so that you can be more proficient when you're actually doing your programming or writing anything inside of the editor. This allows you to save a lot of time because you're not writing out the same thing multiple times. Instead, you're just writing it once and you're moving on. So we can add multiple cursors by going up to selection and then going to one of these options, either add cursor above, below, or to the end of a line. Now, these are kind of a bad way of doing it. I would highly suggest not doing it this way because it takes so long to go into the selection menu and then select what you want to select and then go about your business and potentially come back and do it again. So I would highly recommend remembering what the keyboard short shortcuts are so that you can quickly use them while editing your file. So from here, I'll just do that right away. Now, the first way that you can add multiple cursors is actually just holding Alt and then clicking where you want to add a cursor. And you can see I'm adding cursors all throughout this file. And now I can type things and it adds whatever I'm typing to all of those areas that I've added. But I don't really want to do that. So I'll hit undo and I'll go back to the original cursor. Now, another way you can add cursors is by holding alt and control and then hitting down or up on your keyboard. And what it will do is it will add a cursor to the line above or line below what your current cursor is at. This allows you to do the same thing, multi-line editing that you can type things out and it types on all of the lines that you have cursors on. You can also delete it as well. Now to delete the whole line, you could just hold shift and hit the home button and it will copy everything from where your cursor is at to the end of the line and you can hit backspace to delete the whole thing. Another thing is when you have a multi-line selection, if you hold control and hit L, it will select the entire line for each one of the cursors. Each one of the cursors is now one character over. If I hit right or left, it removes the selection. So if you just have a bunch of cursors and you wanna delete lines, if you hit control L and then hit backspace, it will delete all of those lines. Now to get out of the multiple cursor mode, all you have to do is hit escape and it brings your cursor back to the original line that you started with. Another thing to know is that you can make a selection, say with your mouse, and then hit Alt Shift I, and it will add a cursor to the end of the line of your entire selection. So each line in your selection gets a cursor at the end of the line. This again is useful to just quickly add a cursor to the end of the line so that you can do whatever editing that you need to do. Now, another tip on creating multiple cursors and multiple lines is by selection. So when I select this piece of text here, what I wanna do is I wanna grab the next selection or the next find inside of this selection. So you can see it highlighted a few different areas here that have the same text in it. And what I wanna do is just add a cursor to each one of these. So if I hold control and hit D, it will select the next occurrence of what I have selected and then add a cursor to the end of that. So if I hit backspace, I can remove on both of those lines because I have a multi-cursor. Now you can also do the same and select all the occurrences by holding control shift and hitting L, which will select all of them and add cursors to them. Now, another useful selection tool is by selecting and expanding your selection outwards and inwards if you have a large selection. So here, if I hold shift alt and hit the right arrow key, it will start expanding a selection as it sees fit. So as I hit the right arrow key, it just keeps expanding until I have this whole content tag selected and I can do whatever I want. Maybe I just wanna add a cursor to the end of the line by hitting Shift, Alt, and I, and then do whatever I need to do. If you want a keyboard shortcut cheat sheet, what you can do is you can hit Control, Shift, P, which opens up the command palette, and then type in keyboard shortcuts. And what it'll do is it'll come up with a help that is a reference file where if you hit enter, it actually takes you to that file on the browser. So this is a neat little cheat sheet that you can use when you're doing your editing. Uh, just have it on a second monitor and just reference it every time you're like, oh, what was that shortcut that I wanted to use? And I talked about mostly the ones in the multi-cursor and selection area. These are the ones that it, this video pretty much was primarily based on. So just for your reference, if you ever wanted to get to this cheat sheet, that's how you do it inside of VS Code. And that is how you utilize multi-cursor functionality inside of VS Code. Subscribe for more.